Father, we thank you, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for the opportunity for us to see this year 2021. It's not by our might, it's not by our power, O oh Lord. It's not by anything that we've done, but O oh Lord, you chose to journey us through. Father, we are grateful, O oh Lord, that we are here, O oh Lord. Father, we don't know what we have to do. We don't know what this year has for us, but O oh Lord, you only know. And Father, we trust you that you see us through to the end. We trust upon your word and we trust upon what you said to us. And Father, we are believing and trusting you to make it a good and a better year for us. And Father, we all, when all said and done, we give you all the glory and adoration. We we'll bless you and we'll honor you in the mighty name. The word is coming, O oh Lord, Father. I'm just a vessel, O oh Lord. I don't even qualify to bring your word, but O oh Lord, you chose a vessel just like bring your vessel. I pray for your divine empowerment. I'm blessing myself, O oh Lord, for you to increase. I pray that you touch my tongue with code of fire. That your word will come in power. Your word will come and accomplish whatever mission, O oh Lord, before it comes to you. Let your children be blessed. We pray for a receptive heart, O oh Lord. For the speak to be a heart, O oh Lord, that they will live here with your word, O oh Lord, written on the tablet of their heart. That the word, O oh Lord, will be a blessing to their, their life. and will be bring transformation. In your life, in Jesus' name, we pray. Pray the same shout. Amen. 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 I give glory to God for this opportunity for me to share His word with you. And I thank our Papa, Pastor Reverend Emmanuel Barton, for the opportunity for grooming us and giving us the opportunity for us to grow as well. And I appreciate my ministers for the support. Mr. Selem, Mr. Abby. Brown Newman, Mr. Newman, and the church members as well. If you are not here, you can preach the word of God. So it's my uh, it's, it's my wish that God will bless you for coming, and today your life will not be the same. Amen. 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 It's a brand new year, 2021, and 2020. Uh, we can't say it's a bad year, it's a good year, because God in his own way made that year possible. And God in his own way has protected us, sustained us through 2020. And we are here in 2021. And I believe today the Lord will speak to you, and the Lord will guide you through his word what to do. Amen. Amen. My topic for the first Sunday of the year 2021 is putting off and putting on. Putting off and putting on 2021 to make it a, a, a new year. Amen. Or oh, I'll turn it around. 2021. The year of putting off and putting on. Amen. 2021. The year of putting off and putting on. Amen. 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 See, when we start a brand new year, it's a year that people redefine their purpose. They redefine their purpose. When we start a brand new year, it's a year of an opportunity for us to review our life. The previous years, what we went through, what we did, what we didn't do right, what we want to do right. Amen. It's a year for us to redefine our mission. Maybe the mission for 2020 wouldn't come to pass because of Corona. Because coronavirus took the better part of 2020. Our movement was limited. Things changed and we have a brand new year 2020. So it's a year to set a new vision. It's a year, a brand new year, it's a year that we, we, we differentiate between urgent and important things. There's a difference between urgent and important things. Amen. It's an opportunity for us to establish a worldwide goal. Set another goal that is worthwhile. It's an opportunity for us to bury our past and move on. Amen. Amen. So it's a brand new year. The things that you couldn't do to let it go. Let it go. Focus on what is ahead of you. Amen. 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 Shall we read our first Bible reading? We are taking it from Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. As I said, if you have it open, you can read it, but I have it open, so I'll go ahead and read it. 
because of our time, I have a lot to share. He said, For I know, the Lord is standing around. He said, For I know the thought that I, I take towards you, said the Lord. Talk of peace. Mm. The Lord wants to give you peace in 2021. That's right. Not of evil. The Lord doesn't want to harm you, He doesn't want any sickness to take you away. He said, To give you an expected end. That is the favorite part. The Lord said, I want to give you peace during the training. I want to take you to the expected end. Your vision, your purpose, your plan, your aspiration, your dream. The Lord wanted to, to let come true. Amen. So he's talking about an expected end of 2021 and for the rest of your life. Amen. That is the God's plan for you in 2020. Amen. Amen. I know what is the first night people are fired up. Romans chapter 10. Hold on, when I'm ready, I'll let you know. 
maybe you're a smoker, it's a bad habit, put you off. Mm. Uh, statistics say people that smoke, they want to quit, they try four times before they can finally stop. I mean, so you don't want to be put even start to put yourself in that instant. Amen. If you are a drunkard, I mean, stop drinking, it will not help you. If you are a gossiper, stop gossiping. Those are the things I've mentioned. It's a lie. If we are a liar, stop lying. It will not help you. But if you want to have the full list for your studies, you can read Galatians 5, 19 to, 19 to 21 tells you about the list. It tells about fornication, adultery, and the list. Stop, stop. And the 22, 23 tells you about the things that you have carried on. Love. A, a long suffering. Uh, uh, humility, and forbearance, all those things. For your studies, you can write it down. We don't have much time to write it. And uh, some of the things I listed here is that uh, spend more time with your family and friends. See, uh, friendship can be good or bad, depending on how you, you look you, the people that you, are, you accept as your friend. I, I'm, 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 I'm a, a firm proponent of friendship. Because I believe God doesn't bless people directly. God always uses men. That's right. When God doesn't bless you, you use your friend, your neighbor. So I believe friendship is good. I know a lot of people friendship are betray us, but don't cast making friends. You are not created to be an ally. You are created to mingle in a society. Amen. So friendship is good. Spend more time with them. Learn from them. Make sure you be a positive influence in their life. Amen. And your family. One thing Corona taught us 2020 is for us to spend time together. Amen. What are you like to do? You are working up. You are shut up. So you don't have any choice but to spend more time with your family. Invest more time in people. Amen. Maybe this year you want to be somebody you want to be fit. Spend time working out. Because it's good to clean this body. God gave us this body to maintain it. You have a duty to maintain your body. Work out. Work out. Amen. Make sure their heart is working right. You are living right, you are eating right. Amen. Amen. He said, make sure you are getting out of bed. Because then I will not let you see the glory of God. Right. So much credit card will not let you see the glory of God. That's what I do for living. Credit card, brothers and sisters, if you, if you have your own way, don't even really study. Because if I give you $1,000 credit card, it will take you years for you to pay that $1,000. Sure. Amen. If you have $50,000, it will take you years. Anything above 20,000 will take you years for you to pay. I don't know what I'm talking about. Because the one who always bring you the minimum payment. <laughs> and the minimum payment is a trap. The one who have 80,000 credit limit, the secret behind of how they got to 80,000, one, they have good credit score. Two, they know how to use it. Because they don't use it until they, they want to buy something like thousand dollars. And even if they buy that ten thousand dollars, within the same month they will pay it off. So the one who doesn't have anything on them. But African man, African man, if you give a credit card of thousand dollars, the minimum payment is twenty dollars. When they bring them up twenty dollars, or so they travel twenty dollars, and yes, you be saying, I've been paying this, and it will never go off. I know what I'm talking about. If you want to be disciplined in life in America, and if you want to see that God is blessing you, a lot of us, God has blessed us already, but we also put ourselves into the slavery. Fifteen years ago, I've never had a credit card. If I don't have money, I don't buy. Because I see the one exploiting people, especially the poor ones. I don't know why I'm dwelling on this. I see it because I work at the bank and I know what I'm talking about. They exploit you, the poor ones, and they make money. The rich people, they don't make money from them. Because that is their strategy. They understand the system. They, they know how to use the credit card. Credit card is not meant to buy clothes and all those things. They use it for makeup products. And what they're using, they pay it off so they don't get them any chance on it. Amen? Amen. It's, if you have to avoid it, avoid it. I've survived on it for 15 years. That's right. Amen? And I'm still living. I, I can take it, but I don't want it because I know how, how it will end you up in 
slavery. Amen. Financial slavery. Amen. Let's move on. Help others this year. If you want to put on a good attitude that God will see the harm God in your life. Help people. Invest your time in people. I tell people, the reason why you have to invest your time in people is when you go down, they are the same people who bring you up. But when you spend your money yourself, when you go down, you go down by yourself. Amen. Invest people. Give. Help people when they are in need. Get organized. A lot of us we are all over the place. Get organized. Get organized. Make sure by the time the year end, you have something you can stand up and say, this year, this is what I accomplished. If it's school, go to school. If you are putting up a project in home, at home, do it. If you are buying a house in America, buy it. Make sure by the time the year end, you say, this is what I said, and this is what by God's grace I've been able to achieve. Amen. 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 Can you please take me to the future for what So, these are some of the things, but if you want the details, you can go to Galatians 5, uh, 19 to 20, 22. It will tell you the things you have to put on, the things you have to put on. It's a lot of them. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4, the verse 22. Throw off your old sin nature. He said, throw off. Mm -hmm. And your former way of life. Former way of life. Which is corrupted by before. last and deception. Which is corrupted by lust and deception. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why are you the 23? Just the 22. Yes. So, so these are some of the things you have to make sure. He said the Bible said when you are a new creation, you renew, you have a renewing of your mind. Most of the things, the battle that we are talking about is in the mind and the heart. Amen. Amen. Dwell on the word of God. Change your make actions, make movement. Let go only write your vision on the paper. Take action. If it's good that you want to go this year, make sure you call and you are registering and you are taking the classes. Amen. Just don't write it. There are some people they write it and they throw it away and they never accomplish anything. Amen. 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 Can you take me to Romans 13, 14, please? Romans 13, 14, please. And then. Verse 14. Instead, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus, and don't let just don't let yourself think about ways to indulge our evil desire. Amen. He said, instead, clothe yourself with Christ. Christ Jesus. This year, one of the things you have to do to find out yourself. Get closer to God as never before. Amen? Because he is the one who is going to be with you. Get closer. If you don't know the Christ when you come to church, you don't know the word of God. Spend time in the word of God. It doesn't take, it takes just you putting, making up your mind, I want to spend 10 minutes a day with God in his word, with your devotion. By the time you continue, 22 days, it will become part of you. It will become part of the person of you. And through that, you see you are growing. The same thing with fellowship. Come, make, make up your mind. I want to fellowship. I want to be on a prayer line from Monday to Friday. You want to have some prayer line. Make sure every Sunday, or if you have the opportunity to come, come. By the time you realize you are a different person, the people around you, your friends, your, your friends, hey, I figure you uh, won't say all right. You don't have to tell them, you will see. Just a little action. You started. Amen. 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 Mr. Sutter, take me to uh, Philippians 3 12. I think I have it open so I'll read it. He said, Not as though I have already attained. I think we read that already. Apostle Paul is saying that. He said, We should press on, go forward. Amen. So that answers the question. So somebody asked. Even as I'm putting on, so maybe the things that wasted your time last year, make sure this time, those time that you wasted, but you redeeming those time, you put it into different things. If you wasted your time doing something, take night classes, take evening classes, six weeks, uh, maybe three months, you come up with a certificate that will end you extra.
extra money. Amen. 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 Continue. Make the most of every opportunity. Make Amen. the most of every opportunity. Amen. They will make the opportunity, but make use of every opportunity. Don't act like thoughtless, mm. but understand what the God wants you to. See, in your heart of ask no full of wisdom, get understanding. Know how the system works. Amen. Know how God's system works. Amen. Don't be drunk with wine mm. because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and, and spiritual songs yourself and making music to the Lord in your heart. Amen. Amen. So basically, it's telling us that our time that we lost in 2020, we can redeem it. We can redeem it in 2021 by putting those wasted time to something that will benefit our lives. Amen. It will benefit our lives. Colossians 4 5. He said we should walk to redeem our time that was lost. Amen. We should make sure this year is a year of application. Amen. It's not a year of experimentation, a year of application. Everything that you write down as your goal, as your mission, you put it to use. Amen. 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 So we've answered these three questions. What is important? What is urgent? If you make a tablet, you know what is very urgent, what God wants you to do, what is important, which is not the same as urgent. What seems important, what seems important, important is not important. It looks like, but it's not important. Amen. If you're able to categorize what is urgent, what is important, and what is seems important, you will be able to go forward this year with your goals and aspirations. Amen. Amen. And I believe if you're able to take this little step, it will take you a long way and life will never be the same. The expected end God will give you will come to fruition. And you look back at the first of, uh, of this year and you say, ah, God has blessed me because you made a move and God was with you. Amen. Sometimes we we'll make a move and we we'll leave God behind. Sometimes we expect God to make a move for us, but God will not let us make a move. That is why Matthew 7, 7 said, ask and it shall be given. God knows your needs. He knows you want to buy a house by the end of this year, but you haven't asked. He knows you want to go to school, but you haven't said. He knows you want that marriage, but you haven't knocked. You are the door standing waiting for God. But God is expecting you to knock. Amen. Amen. So let your action come to fruition. Amen. What is the thing? I've said so many things, but I'm going to summarize everything. What do you take this year? Oh, it's my goal that you put God first in everything that you do. 2020. Put God first and let it start when you get up from your bed. By praying to God, thanking God, being grateful to Him. For giving you life. The Bible says anything, anything that has prayer has to be grateful, has to give thanks. So it starts from your bed. When you wake up, just say thank you, God. It starts with your devotion, reading your Bible, meditating on your word day and night. That is the way to be successful. Amen. We have to be thankful. Sometimes we become ungrateful to the little things God has given us. We don't even appreciate anything that, I mean, God has for us. If you are not appreciative of the little things, you will not see the big things that God is doing in your life. Amen. We should seek for spiritual and physical growth. Even as you want to prosper, even as you want to get a house, also make sure you are getting spiritual growth. You are coming to Bible studies, reading your Bible, fellowshipping. Amen. Amen. He said we should be aware there will be storms, even as we push. Be aware there will be challenges. Be aware there will be trials. Be aware there will be discouragement. But God is still in there with you. Because He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So 2020, the Lord said, He will never leave you. Amen. So when you see the challenges, don't let those challenges deter you. If you see the discouragement, don't let those discouragement deter you. Move forward and know that God is with you. Amen. Amen. The last one said, we should seek with wisdom and get understanding. Seek wisdom and get understanding. Amen. The Bible said, if you, any 
anybody want wisdom, you should ask God, ask God and he will free you give. They don't pay. No tax. No any strength at all. He will give you, he will give it to you. So if you need wisdom to now get through this life, 2021, you should ask God in your prayers. Amen. If you ask him for wisdom, seek for understanding too. Because you can be wise. If you don't have understanding, you will not understand how things work with God. Amen. Amen. So I believe the Lord has spoken to you. I believe the Lord has spoken to you. And it's my prayer that by the time you go through this year, from January to December, if by God's grace, you listen to the word of God and you put it to use. God in his own way will bring the back purpose in your way. He will give you the wisdom. And at the end of the defense, you will come and stand here and testify. That at the beginning, what the Lord said, I put it into use. And indeed, he ended me at the expected end. Amen. He said, he who has started a good thing with you, he who has started a good thing with you, will bring you to a successful end. Amen. So whatever you started this year, the Lord will bring it to an expected end. And you will be blessed and you will testify about the good of the good of uh, the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Shall we bow us down? Heavenly Father, we want your word has come, Lord. You said your word will not give back to you void to accomplish whatever mission. Father Lord, let your word accomplish whatever mission in the life of your children. And let your children be blessed in this way. But I will pray that even as they make a move, we know you are with them till the end. But I will pray that provide everything for them, O oh Lord. Every divine purpose, O oh Lord. Every resources they need, O oh Lord, to be successful. We know, Father, it is already done in your name. Because, O oh Lord, you are with us 24 7. We pray that, O oh Lord, give us a resistance to come against every, every discouragement, every adversary that will come away. But I will pray that give us the spiritual discernment to know the opportunities in life, to be able to put on and uh, uh, put off the things that we have to put on. But I will know you are that one, and you will never leave us, and you will never forsake us. And we know the days, O oh Lord, at the end of the year, we will look back and we will give you all the glory and all the blessings. We thank you, O oh Lord, we commit each and every one's life into your hands, O oh Lord. Continue to protect us, O oh Lord. Let your sustaining grace lead us through this year. And let us be a blessing to this generation. In Jesus' name we pray, we say, shout, Amen. Amen.